we see this before? No. Huh. Hey, Miles, I... Who's this idea? I suspect Miles is wrong. Basically, calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, he becomes very violent when overexcited. Oh, Stanley. The other, the other one is for Stanley Coleman. Okay. This is the guy who wrote that signature. Usually. S7. Usually <laughs> passively, cowardly, also egotistical. Some shows an axe on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. Has this caused a violent instance? Use caution. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Could Leonard be Vincent? So he's an S12. Stanley Coleman is S7. Which those. I don't know if those are now marked. Okay, S7 and S12, those are all on the third floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's something, but... This doesn't help us. Yeah. I mean, I just noticed, because when I walked over here, she was looking down at that. Um... There we go. Yes. Okay, guys. Um... Yeah. So, ch chalk another one up for having to look it up, unfortunately. But I don't actually feel bad. We almost got the Shakespeare puzzle. This puzzle, I didn't even know was a puzzle. No. Yeah, okay. So, apparently, this is the door. And, you know, here... second floor. Yes, this is the door on the second floor. And there's a number pad here. Yay. And this lovely poem, which we fell in love with last week, is... Supposed to be your hint on how to, and how you translate this into numbers. Apparently, you're supposed to just figure out that the numpad represents a face. Yeah, I mean, they could have drawn a face somewhere in the hospital with numbers for eyes or something or somewhere, weird. Just like a little outline of a head around the numpad. That would have been fine. Yeah, that would have given but that some. Was the thing. I had no idea that this was supposed to go with a numpad at all. No. And I think what's the I, here's what, here's my estimation. I think that you're not supposed to do hard level puzzles until your second or third playthrough. And at that point, you'd be like, oh yeah, the clue for oh, how to open this was here, and so you'd kind of know that these two went together. But for us on the first run through, we just thought it was a really weird Silent Hill poem. Yes. Yeah. So this lovely, lovely poem. Right here. Yeah. Then I suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket. Um, <coughs> that represents the number either one or three, because we don't know which eye it's talking about. Well, yeah. I mean, well, if you put your left hand on your face as though we were to oh, kiss. Yeah, I guess that's true. Left hand on the face, then that would be your one. right eye. Or, I guess it depends on... Well, yeah, but I mean... Okay, if it was on the side. Like okay, so it'd, be, so it'd be on your face. So if I was putting it on my left hand on your face, it'd be on the right side of your face. So it would be the number one. Yes. So that's number one. Right. Apparently. Yes. Apparently. And that's, yeah, okay, nice. All right. Okay. So this, it streams down from your fresh eye. That goes down to number four. Does it? Yes. Okay, sure. And you're the Lost so many. See, we didn't actually look up the numbers. We just looked up how to figure this out. Yes. So, yeah, okay. And the man, yeah, yeah, right. Um, so, biting your tongue? That's well, eight. Eight? Yes, that would be eight. Because your nose would be like number five. five. So, yes, eight would be tongue. Okay. So, what? One, four, eight? One, four, eight. Uh huh. I think this is a. Okay. Tongue, long to cheeks, which is I'm guessing either three and no, it'd be four and six. Four or six. Right, long for cherry. Tinted. Well, if it's below your eyeball, then it would be cherry tinted with the with the blood. Okay. So we could go with four again. Four. So one, four, eight, four. Okay. How is your tender ear? What number would an ear be? Brush it against my cheek? So I can... See. You're going to bite an ear. I don't think... Okay, so does that mean cheeks are like seven and nine? 
Because an ear wouldn't be below your cheek. No, ears are up by your eyes, so I guess your ear would be... Okay. And your left ear. So always left again, so that would be... Your left... Four. No, wait. No, that's... Your left ear, but if it's facing me, it'd be on the right side. Mm hmm. Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid? Of anything? Didn't destroy me. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Okay. Um. Right. We're gonna get a piece of paper and write this down. So yeah. Um. Based on what we're saying, we should end up with like one. Four, which is the cheek, eight. Mm hmm. Four, again? Or was it. We could try six. One, four, eight, four. I, I want to say that seven is the. The cheek? cheek and then six is the ear. Okay, because you got eyeball, eyeball, nose. Well, but ear, mentioned. ear. Well, I know that, but I'm just saying. Okay, if yeah. you know, I'm just drawing nose, you got ears, and then you got a mouth and some cheeks, sort of. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um, so what was it? One four eight seven four. One four eight seven. Or wait, four. is it the other cheek? Wait. No. All right. I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna come back in. One. Four. Four. Eight. Seven. Wait, is it not letting us press them multiple times? Shh. Yeah, I can push it as many times as I want. It, it only gives that little bitty click noise. Okay. So... Okay, um, how many numbers are supposed to be in the code? I don't know. No, it said somewhere. It did. Um. No, one of Stanley's things said. Yeah, it did. It was like, I think it's a four digit, I think. So, we've got five things. So we've got the eye and the blood running onto the cheek. Mm-hmm. Then the mouth. Mm-hmm. Or the blood running down. It doesn't really say the cheek. It's just the blood running down. Well, maybe that's not a thing, though. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I. Okay. I want to hurt you. I want to try. Okay. Yes. But left hand. Okay. Drilling a hole. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Biting your tongue, shredding it. So that's that eight. that's eight. Sure. Okay. Hmm. There's cheeks, which is seven, because they're cherry scented. Cherry, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, they cry. Okay. And left ear. So their left ear is going to be six. Yes. So that would be ear. six. Yes. So, okay, I, I'm with you. I don't think we should count the cheek thing. Mm -hmm. So it'd just be one eight seven six. Yeah, I know it's locked. Thanks. One seven six. I hate this controller. Hang on. Mm. I'm not sure if I even clicked it right. Okay, 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. What? God, this is disturbing. <laughs> so they crush the eye. Yes. What if the eye ended up... What if that thing about the cheek is meant to imply the eye ended up down at four? Ew. So what would that be? Four, eight, seven, six. Okay. I'm going to go in here again. It's worth a try anyway. Four. Eight. Seven. Six. No. Damn it. Um. Okay, well, what if... Alright. Because it says the... What was it? The cheeks? It didn't mm -hmm. specify which cheek. No, it just said it was... So, what... Because but... we were just presuming it was this cheek because of the blood coming yeah, from the but eyeball. Actually, but... that happened after the dude, like, ate their tongue and crap, so it'd probably They're... be pretty well everywhere at that point. Yeah, okay, so what if we try the other cheek, then? Okay. Alright, so four, what was it? Eight? Eight, nine, six. Nine. Eight. Nine. Ah! We Holy got it! crap! Okay, that... I like puzzles, but... Oh my god, people! Yeah, it's... This is ridiculous. When they talk about hard that they should make another difficulty for these puzzles. Yeah, this is like extreme stupid hard level. This is, no. Okay, so... Just to, just so you know, neither me nor Ivy are actually members of Mensa. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but, um, that's... Okay. So, it's unlocked now. And Let's I'm go. on the second floor. <sighs> Did we write that down? What was that? Four eight nine six. Okay, because in case I go in the hallway and I spontaneously die, you don't want to figure it out again. We'll we'll listen to our <laughs> um ourselves and remember. All right, so I've got thirty eight bullets. It took twelve bullets to kill two girls. Yep. <sighs> And yet, I'd rather just have it. Okay. Where is it? I know it. There's a thing. It's behind me. Nope, it's in front of me. Okay. Okay. That was definitely a thing. Gotta say, though, I was quite impressed. With my going in guns blazing? Yeah, you were just like, hoo -ah! I was afraid there was something behind me, so I was running away from the thing that was behind me, but there was nothing behind me. <laughs> I, was, I thought Heather was a Marine for a second. <laughs> yes, there I was. Yay! Super fun, you were die, hoorah! Okay, so I can't go in there. Alright, so... The hallway sounds clear anyway. Yes. Okay. Now then, um so we're in the M's. We are in the M's. And Okay, well here we go then. Oh god. Isn't that the place we just came in? No. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Emperor, save me. Oh, God. No. No. There's a thing on the floor. Is it? What? What is what? Something's written here. Stop it. Yes. <laughs> That's helpful. Background on Name, age, unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital ground. Temporarily in solid room. M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late overnight from blood loss due to severe cartoid artery. Severed. Oh, severed. Not severed. Yeah. <laughs> Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand, assume. Possible suicide, but would 
but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Hmm. Okay. Helpful. So, we want to go to room M4? I don't think so. I don't want to go there. You don't want to go through his stuff? No. No, I don't. But, okay. M1. Looks locked. Has a lock on it. Hmm. Lock is broken. Very good. Okay, hang in. Bath. So, bath. I've never been able to go in a bath. Still can't! Good! I don't want to go in a bath. <laughs> M2. Nope. Broken. Good. M3. Broken. Good. M4. I don't want her. I'm going to check M5 and 6 first. Because <laughs> reasons. Bah! Oh, it's okay. It's TV! Hey, dude, in this game, TVs are scary. Okay. And five. Ah, God! Nope! <laughs> that room's full of nope. Okay, M4 then. Hi! See, they do this to you. Yep. Oh, God! What? 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 No! Yes! I was like, I would. Fine. 2... Nine. It is 219. Okay. What does that mean? And the, and the... The second hand is missing, but it's pointing at zero. At six, I mean. It's pointing down. Maybe. What does it mean? The pillow is stained and sticky with it. Okay. That's it. Um, yeah, I saw that. Th okay, thanks. No, I want to turn it back on. Rawr. <laughs> um, O219. Dang. That made sense from a Sonic Hill point of view. Uh, what about 14-19? Military time. Good, good thinking there. Uh -huh. So, we didn't actually, we didn't even have to cut out to look at that one. <laughs> okay, so I have to share a little story because why that freaks me out a little bit more than anybody else in the world. <laughs> My father, like when we went to church, way back when I was a very small child, had a briefcase which he would put all the Bibles and the watchtowers and all of that stuff for church in. And its little code, it had a three-digit code, which was 219. Really? Seriously. I shit you not. <laughs> so I got a Polaroid camera. And that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to examine that. Could we use that the same way you were thinking to use the mirror? <gasps> we could. You stick it back there and you take a picture. Mm -hmm. And that will tell me the code. Yes. I'm. What is the perfume for? It smells pretty. I swear it's like you're not a girl at all. Okay. So that's it. I'm not going in the room with the nurses. Because that's just a waste of bullets. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. 
I want to go... Okay, I'm going to check. Is there anything else in here that I... Okay, so that's for the stairs. Yep. Probably locked. Probably. And... That's it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Also broken. Very what we good. were expecting. Yes. Very good. You are not a ping pong ball. No. <laughs> I ran down the hallway like boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I'm drunk. Can't you tell? Okay. I um, wish I was. Right. So. I don't know. I think this game would be a lot worse if I was drunk. Oh yes. That's. Seriously. Okay. Um. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going down to the basement. Basement. You you sound so happy. Yeah. I wanna save first. But there's not a save on this floor. Nope. Wasn't there one like right outside the hallway on two though? I mean right outside the staircase. No, on, on three. On three. Yeah, I could do that. Game. I heard that. I felt that. Yeah, because it's like right here. Yep. Yeah. What? Just this game. <sighs> yeah. Saving, saving. Okay, so we'll go down, we'll take a picture, we'll get the code, we'll be able to go to the third floor and have our lovely reunion and find out what Stanley's supposed to sound like. I have a feeling that none of my attempts were correct. Yeah, I think you're right on that. Although, if he comes out and he starts suddenly sounding like a valley girl, that will be off-putting and hilarious. That would scare me a lot. Yeah. You would find me, like, outside. <laughs> really? Because all of a sudden... Yeah. Okay. Yes, that thing is a scary thing. Okay, here I am. I'm back. Did you miss me? Totally. Alright, now then. Wait. Sugar bud. There's something got... Start from the rooms. I. Why did it not say that before? Cause. Um. Okay then. No, no, no. I need. I need my that thing. Yes. Use. Okay. That is what we're supposed to do. Seven nine two five. That is alarmingly non puzzly. Okay. So so is that those are the numbers for the third floor. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Third floor. <laughs> quick, quick break to get our nerves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. Seven nine two five. I remember stuff. Yay, good, because I forgot. <laughs> um, okay, now then, hang on. Before we go in there, I'm going to check the map. All right, do we remember? S7 and S12. S7 was for Stanley? Leonard. 
And that's 12 with Stanley, I think. No, I don't think so. I think it was the other way around. Well, we'll just leave both of them until we investigate everywhere. Okay, so we're going to go everywhere else first. That's what I would say. If you want to do it differently, you certainly can. Yeah, I think you're right. We'll investigate everywhere else first. Uh, how am I on bullets? Terrible. 32. What, 32 of those? I've got 36 shotgun shells. Oh, that's good. That is pretty good. I've got a stun gun battery. I've got 13 of those. I think... I mean, if it's a nurse, mm -hmm. I, mean, I can always just pause and the nurses will stand there and ignore me until I, until I change right. weapons. You it's know. The video game logic. Yes. All right, here we go. Meh. Meh. I don't hear anything. That's almost scarier. It's a bench. Oh, God. It's Fritos. I'm not looking. Well, I picked that up. It looks like a blood pack or something. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Kick you. Gotta run away. That totally wasn't there before. Hi, I see you. No, come on. Stun you. It's kicking. With the kicking. Okay, that worked well. Okay, yeah, actually, I kind of like those. I mean, the stun guns, anyway. Alright, is there any more in here? I do hear more. Nope, that was it. Oh, that is so amazing. What? The music kept up until it fully explored the hole. Well, music with those things tends to keep up anyway. Like for a few seconds, you know, 30 seconds or so after. So, all right. What so is I've, that? What's what? Oh, Some yes, fish. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to look at it now. Beef jerky. Okay. Beef jerky? Oh, I was like, that's rendered, whatever it is. Beef jerky? Oh, God. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Here's like beef jerky. No, but beef jerky means like there's a dog or something. Okay, so that room has been completely blocked off for all of this. Yes. Okay, good. Well, the vampires come out, you cannot go to the day room. Apparently not. All right. Okay, can't go there. Can't go there. No baths either. Good. That's why I have the perfume. Nope. Okay. Thought so. This is a very this is a very long hallway. Okay. Well, I'm going to skip. Well, yeah. I thought it was 11. Pretty sure it's 12. Okay. 10 9 8 going to skip 7. Six, five, four, three, two, hey! <laughs> That's great. What? Tissue and an alarm clock. Uh -huh. The clock is broken, but otherwise no big deal. I'm looking at a magazine. Gossip magazine. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, <laughs> a charity organization Silent Hill calls 4S. It is true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches our own warped dogma, its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temporary, who lives near Hope House, had this to say, Well, sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of our children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, they haven't changed one bit. 
In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs of the house. <laughs> but what exactly do the folks at Hope have have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower is used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may be, in fact be a prison, or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven in Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a religious and dangerous dark side. Isn't that most religions believe that they, they are the elite <laughs> chosen people? Of course. I mean... Hmm. Continue. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph. Scribier. Scribier? Schreiber. I don't know. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. She was born there. Ooh. Okay. Well, actually, we saw her be born. Well, okay. Well, I don't know. That's interesting. It's like a TV up on the wall. Was this the room where... What? Um... Oh, that blonde girl we were running around with in Silent Hill 2, like, stayed to rest? In there? I don't... I... Nah, I... I don't know, actually. Okay. So, 7 or 12? Um... Okay, 7 was Stanley. And... 12 was Leonard. And 12... Leonard, from... His, um... Report... I don't know. 7... Stanley said he could get all well, violent and horrible. Yes. And 12 was the one we were coming to see. Let's go to 12. Hang on, before we go in there, I'm going to make sure I've, I've crossed off everything. Looks yep. like I have. Except 7. And 12. Okay, here we go. Hi. Wait, what did it say? Okay. All right, fine. Hello. Cutscene. Is it going to turn into the dark world now? Probably. And we'll always wonder what happens with Stanley. No, we're totally going to reload. And yeah, we'd reload and look. He's related to me.
Sounds like you're pretty sure then. It's not the dark world yet. Not yet, I'm surprised. I am too. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into seven. <laughs> Here we go. It's just a letter. Ah, he broke it! 